full-blown acceleration here now. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2022 Ram 1500 Rebel. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with this Rebel. Check out their inventory link below. Let's pop right into the video. So under the hood, we have a Natchi aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. Now going over the front end of the Rebel here, first off you guys will notice that it has the sport hood so you've got the venting here and then up above that has the 1500 Hemi badge and everything's all blacked out with the logos. We've got the LED lights, we've got reflector LEDs with the accent lights above and below those. Fog lights just down below. We have the Ram logo here on the front and then the moustache grill is what I like to uh, call it. You've got the parking sensors here on the front, tow hooks here at the bottom, and then you've got the skid plates. As part of the Rebel packages, you do get skid plates. Add some protection for off-road use. And other than that, that is the front end. Coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well, AKA 33s. And you guys can see we also do get the off-road shocks as part of the Rebel package here. And just look how aggressive these tires are. Now back to the wheels. I really like the design, how it's blacked out there in the center and then the silver on the outside. So it has that cool kind of off-road type look. Notice the parking sensor here to the side and how the bumper connects to the fender flare. Ram logo right there. This one's got the trailer mirrors added to it. And here is, well, kind of our full side view. That truck is getting in the way. But this hydro blue in the sun looks beautiful, or actually beautiful. So here's our key fob. We got the unlock, the lock, the remote start, and then the Ram logo here on the back. And popping the bed down, we have a payload capacity of 1,514 pounds and a towing capacity of right around 11,000 pounds here at the Rebel because it has a 392 rear end. And then other than that, it's pretty basic here in the bed, no bed liner or anything like that. We do have a cargo light at the top. And since that's all for that, that's nice and light. Now facing things here in the rear, notice how we have the LED lights and then this portion right here is blacked out as part of the Rebel package. All of the badges have been blacked out. You got the blacked out bumper with the parking sensors and the blacked out exhaust tips and then also just a regular old receiver hitch. And then there's that viewpoint and then I'll sh quickly show you guys underneath with the coil suspension and then also uh, the rear shocks as well. And then also you have the uh, spare tire right there and that's all. Now here is the door panel in the rear. Notice how we have the contrast between the red and the black and the stitching white and red. I think that is really cool attention to detail. Looks fantastic here all over the door panel. And then here's the seat. So again, notice same thing here where you've got the black right here and then the red and then the white. And then we have the cloth inserts here which are very comfortable to sit in. I owned a 2019 Rebel that had these seats. Absolutely love them. They're really comfortable. Now notice that you've got the ice bucket here and then storage underneath the seat and then you guys can see the blacked out trim right there you've got some usb it's got a full power outlet the vents here in the rear as well and then notice the seat backs fully red there for the front seats uh, so pretty cool and to see the red and the blue next to each other it looks amazing so yeah now here's the door panel at the front so again the contrast between the red and the black is right here with the stitching got your window controls got the mirror adjustments again try the mirrors and then here's the seat at the front so uh, sorry about the camera focus, but again, notice here between the contrast with the cloth and the vinyl and the red and got the Rebel logo, which is pretty cool. And then you have red here at the bottom of the seat with the adjustments. Pedal layout, pedals are adjustable. You've got the parking brake right here. You've got the light control with the fog light and the cargo light. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. And then notice the red on the vent there as well. And there's one to look before you pop in. So here is the steering wheel with the Rebel. You've got nice leather here at the top and at the bottom, and then perfect leather here on the side so you get a little bit of a better grip. We've got our cruise control. Notice the red accenting and the red stitching. That all looks great. Gear limiter, voice command, phone controls, controls for the center stack, radio controls on the back of the steering wheel, turn signal, windshield wiper stock, and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster. Notice how you have the Rebel logo and you've got the gauges on either side there in analog format. And then you have the screen there in the center, which you can scroll through different bits of information here on the truck. Pretty self-explanatory, nothing too crazy, and that's all for that. Now up above, you do have a 12 volt, and then notice the red trim and then the black trim, and then we do have the 8.4 inch infotainment system. You guys can see you've got the trajectory lines that turn with the 
steering wheel and then you've got the zoom function right there for the backup camera as well resolution on it's really nice uh, as for the infotainment system it's easy to use like you can go to controls for example where you can do the rear view camera and you can go to climate and it has an interesting like listen interesting uh sound on the feedback but yeah really easy to use i think it looks great as well and that's all Analog controls here for the radio, and then we've got the heated seats and the heated steering wheel, and then we have the dual zone climate, parking sensors for the front and rear, tow haul mode, stability control, trailer brake controls, got the USBs, and then also we have the phone holders here with the power outlet down below. We have our transmission selector right here, and notice how you have your two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and then your neutral. Hill descent control, and then the axle lock that also come with the Rebel package. We have the center console here, which uh, notice the contrasted stitching on that. Then you guys can see everything underneath. And then this does slide backwards and forwards. Got the coin holder inside of it. And it's all for that. Notice it says Rebel on the glove box. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And then notice again with the soft touch and the stitching here, and it's all over the dash. Definitely uh, looks nice and premium. And then finishing things up, this one does have a, well, comes standard with the Rebel power sliding window. No center for anything like that, but it's got a black headliner, so it matches. Now here is the window sticker for the 2022 Rebel. You guys can see the base price. Here is the standard equipment. Feel free to freeze the frame if you want to read all of it. Not going to bore you with that. And then you guys can see the optional equipment. And then this one has the Rebel Level B equipment group. That's something that's new for uh, 2022. Um, but you guys can see everything that's added to this particular truck. Total MSRP, $60,300. And again, can't get a full side view, but we can get like a partial side view. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, the rest of the rear, and let's set off. So setting off here in the 2022 Ram 1500 Rebel, and yeah, you guys know I'm a huge fan of this truck. I owned a 2019 for a little bit, actually a 2018 before that. So I've had two Rebels at this point, and it's, it's a really good truck. So first off, ride quality, exceptional. Uh, with the five-link coil suspension in the back end just rides really smooth and the off-road shocks help uh, with the dampening when you go over big bumps and all that kind of stuff and so it just uh, lends to a really good driving experience uh, overall and so it kind of gives you a luxury truck uh, type feel is the best way to uh, put it and moving on over here you guys can see going over this stuff very smooth very compliant just does a really good job going over all of that and uh, the other thing to mention is the uh, steering with this new uh, generation of Ram they released for the 2019 model year is really good. It's uh, pretty direct, but it's also very light and comfortable. And so it's just a, it's a good steering rack uh, overall, I'd have to say. And uh, yeah, other than that, let's also talk about kind of like the seats and everything. So uh, these seats I'm a huge fan of. They're really nice uh, and supportive, but then they're also uh, soft and they have just like a really good feeling overall to them. Is this person going to move? Nope, they're not going to move. Okay. Um, so yeah, this, the seats are <laughs> really comfortable. I was trying to be like a good Samaritan there, and they're just uh, not having it. Yeah, turning's good. But back to the seats. Really good. Uh, the bolstering's nice. Like, one of the most comfortable seats in a brand new truck out there. I, I will say that. And slowing down here. Yeah, braking's still just as good as I remember. And we'll get our full-blown acceleration here now. Five seven Hemi is strong. Now, before I give this a score and sum things up, I do want to mention I will be getting a Rebel later this month, month of December, as a press vehicle. So I will have a whole series on the Rebel coming soon. So if you're not subscribed already and you want to see Rebel content, I'd recommend uh, subscribing because I'll be taking it off-road, the whole shebang. Uh, but anyways. Summing things up, exterior-wise, I think the Rebel still looks good to this day. Uh, interior-wise, I think this interior is very well put together. I like the contrast between the blue and the red and the black on this particular truck. Um, and then how this truck spec'd out, I think it's great. Uh, $60,000, and I feel like this has all the options you need, and none of the stuff you don't need, really. Um, and obviously, this competes against you know Ford Tremor, Chevy Trailboss, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's the segment this sits within. 
Um, so considering the price and everything, I'm gonna give this a pretty high score, nine out of 10. Uh, the reason it gets such a high score is it's still really good value. It's still really competitive price point wise. You get a ton of options with this truck as well, uh, considering the price, really capable, looks good. Just checks all the boxes. Uh, so I think Ram still, even though they haven't changed all that much of the Rebel since they, you know, did this package again for the 2019 model year, it's, it's still great. Uh, and that's all. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Ram 1500 Rebel. Again, a huge shout out link to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.